Aloha everybody, Mike Drew to our principal broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour. Today, we are going to be checking out a two bedroom, two bath unit here in Waikoloa Colony Villas. This is a really well known vacation rental complex in the Waikoloa Beach Resort. Got the golf course right over here. I don't know which one that is. I'm sure the golfers uh, who are watching the channel will be able to tell you. Uh, this is a really great complex, a lot of units in here, two pools, and the thing that's really great about this unit is that it's been updated inside. A lot of the units still have some original kitchens, and they're starting to show their age a little bit. This is excellent. You're really going to like what we have to show you inside. This is listed by Jennifer Bean in our office, Next Home Paradise Realty. Really glad to bring this one to you. Let's get inside and get started. All right, we're going to make our way inside here. Be sure to stay to the end. Tell you my three favorite things and the one thing I would change or add if I can come up with anything. A um, couple things about Waikolo Colony Villas that people like. First of all, all your entrances are ground floor. So you don't have any upstairs entrances. So that's kind of nice. The second thing is your units are upstairs and downstairs. So that's kind of nice too because uh, except for maybe a few spots on a few floor plans, you don't have anyone above you. Um, so it's just kind of nice to not have other people running around. That's a big benefit. The other thing people like about Waikolo Colony Villas is every unit has an attached garage. That's pretty rare. So you got somewhere to keep your car, even if you're a part-time owner. You do still have another stall outside. I think all the units have that. I know this one does. So those are some things that you want to know right off the bat. These are very, very popular vacation rentals. This is a two bedroom. They also have some three bedrooms in here. So you got our front door right here. You come on in to the living area, a good amount of space in here. And you can see how they did update things. I really like the color that they did here on the wall. This green color looks great. Nice little bit of character. Look at that down rod on that ceiling fan. Huge ceiling fan coming all the way down here. And a really nice sense of space that you have with this loft style with the vaulted area here. Um, you know, a lot of condos, you know, you just have the, you have the ceiling on top of you and, um, you know, just feel smaller. This makes everything feel so, so much larger. Uh, we got a nice wood flooring and I believe it's like engineered on the bottom and then wood on top, but it is wood. It's not laminate. So that's kind of nice. I know a lot of people maybe aren't as big a fans of, of the uh, luxury vinyl like I am. Uh, so if you prefer the wood, there you go. This is being sold furnished. You see, we got furniture already here. So like literally you can just buy this thing, fill out the paperwork, transfer your short-term vacation rental to your name. This does have a short-term vacation rental certificate in place. Uh, and you are ready to start earning money. These things do really well. So we do have our foyer over here, nice little area. And I don't know if I pointed it out. In fact, I know I did not. Little spot to kind of sit down, kick your shoes off right outside the front door. Come on in, fully compliant, short-term vacation rental placard. We've got two couches, what we'd love to see, and a ottoman along with a chair. And then a little TV entertainment center. Nicely decorated, nice blinds, looks really good. Got our dining set over here, perfect for four people. You know, this is to me a four person vacation rental because it's got the two bedrooms. You could squeeze six in here, like if you had uh, maybe a, a hide a bed over there, something to consider. I do wanna point out that these windows are getting replaced. Now, here's an example, this is what happens. So the double pane windows they just don't do quite as well out here in Hawaii. And over time, you'll get this sort of a situation. It's because stuff's coming inside. So it's making it through the seal, all the salt in the air kind of makes that seal wear off. So uh, this is being replaced for the people who are going to be moving in here when we get this under contract. This is available as I'm shooting the video. You'll have to get in touch with me. I got link down below. Actually get in touch with Jennifer, the listing agent. I'll put the link to her website. Now here's where things really get good on this condo, is that we have nice European box style, full overlay cabinets. Really, really like that. So a lot of these still have the maple cabinets in there um, and it's just looking really, really old. So what do I mean by full European box cabinets? Full overlay, 
so it comes all the way to the edge. You're not seeing like the frame here sticking out past the door. Um, believe it or not, you do see that quite a bit, or you'll see other pieces like where they come together. You'll see a gap between here and the next one. So with the full overlay, you don't have that gap of the frame below. It also means that the box inside is larger, so you're gonna be able to get more things inside. That's really nice. Oh, by the way, turnkey furnish is like turnkey. You got all your glasses and cups and everything. Nice uh, hexagon backsplash, that looks great. Really like the job that they did on that. And we got two tone over here, which is really cool on our countertops. So we have this nice, well, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on camera, but really nice looking. It feels good. I like it. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that's a quartz product. And then we have it over here on the island as well. We have our large single basin sink. And then we have more of a shiny quartz over here on top on this bar. They got two chairs set up right here. You could easily put three there. Uh, nice little seating area. So good job on that. And I guess I didn't check. Oh yeah, dovetail joints. This is nice. Super stoked. Look how big those handles are too. Really nice on the pools. All right, so we got newer appliances. LG, LG over there. LG over here on our side-by-side -side refrigerator. Uh, ice maker, water dispenser on the door, freezer down below. And then finally our dishwasher over here in our island. Really good usable kitchen. You know, not too big. It doesn't take up too much space, but it has everything that you need. Plenty of cabinet and counter space. Even got a little ceiling treatment, recessed lights. They use the green there on that one spot to tie in with the rest of the house. Looks really good. Got our pantry over here to the side. Look at that bright orange purse. We're branding here, folks. We get our, uh, our ladies um, orange purses for Christmas very often. And then you have a garage. Now, I know if you have a full garage at home, you're gonna be like, eh, it's a little garage. Trust me, when you have a condo, this garage is a godsend. I wish we had one at our place. So awesome. Now, if you live here part-time or you're using this on your own, you can park here and people can use the assigned stalls outside when you rent it out, or you can have it open and just uh, let people use it when they rent. Uh, it gives you a lot of storage space, especially for all your surfboards and fun little goodies. Uh, we have our washer and dryer over here to the side, right here underneath our staircase. And then there's an additional owner's lockout, really smartly done back there, how they have that sectioned off so you can put some things in there. Our downstairs bathroom, down here we've got 18 by 18 tile, nice texture to it, uh, or at least on the color, the, the variation on the color. Let me turn a light on here. There we go. And I think our bathroom's actually original, but it looks great. Nice large mirror. Light fixtures are in good shape. The mirror's in good shape, so a lot of times at this age, you'll see some delamination. Um, this one's in good shape. And I like the uh, polished travertine look that we have over here uh, on our countertops. Toilet, bathtub, everything that you need. And proceeding a little bit further in here to our downstairs bedroom. Plenty of space, big room. So we got a queen size bed there. We could easily fit uh, an Eastern King or a California King. Nicely decorated. These are the kinds of things that you're wanting to see. Uh, so when you're marketing this as a vacation rental, it has the island look that people are looking for and that they're going to want. It's going to make them choose your condo over someone else's. And I'm loving the carpet. Check out that design. There it is. That looks really great has sort of that island thing going on while well, looking good and it feels really good underneath my feet. So I'm really liking what they did there. Excellent job. And then we'll work our way around. Oh, I forgot to mention. I was over here showing the, the glass door that's going to be uh, fixed, but you do have yourself a lanai out here. And there's that view to the golf course where I started things off at. So that's kind of nice. Go out for your morning walk. I really can't get over how, you know, being in a lot of other condos that don't have this much vertical space, how much it really helps with the overall feel of things. All right, heading upstairs. Got carpeted runner with the maple on the banisters. And then your upstairs here is just your primary bedroom. So 
you know, if you are actually staying here a lot, you can just, you know, listen, I'll be honest. If it's me, it's probably going to be a wreck up here. Um, I'm one of those guys who just sort of uh, leaves things where he uh, stopped needing them. Um, it's not one of my better traits. Guys, if this is you two, give me a like. Uh, women, if this is your man, give me a subscribe. <laughs> um, yeah, it happens. Huge bed. I swear this looks bigger than a king size bed. It is massive. You got lots of space in here. You got your dresser. You have your own private lanai out here. Nice little spot for coffee. Not huge, but you can get two people there and over there to the golf course if that's your thing. Nice view of the sky. The weather's always good. It's threatening to rain in Kona. It is so gray, but here up in the resorts of Kohala in Waikoloa. It's a beautiful day like always. The weather up here is just always nice and sunny. And then finally coming around, we have our primary bathroom. We have our tub, toilet, separate shower over here. I like that, plenty of space. Looks like we're pretty original in here, but still, like I said, it's actually looking pretty good. I'm liking it. And then, let's see here. Oh, so we got our closet. Oh, and then they have another owner's lockout. So, main closet, owner's lockout. So if you are vacation renting it, this is enough space for someone as a vacation rental to put their stuff in. Linen closet over here to the side. And you are all set. Everything that you need. All right, time for my three favorite things. And the one thing I would change or add, let's go. Favorite thing number one, is absolutely the updated kitchen. Um, that's a big deal. Um, if you look at this one and then you go look at other units in Waikoloa like Colony of Villas and you see how their kitchens look, it is night and day. Like, this is top notch. Really like it. So that's number one. My second favorite thing is all the vertical space that we have in here. Makes it feel nice and big for the square footage. You don't get that everywhere. Favorite thing, number three, favorite thing number three is that you do have a garage. I'm very envious of that. I wish I had that. What would I change or add? Actually, I have two little things, and they're, they're both really minor. Number one, I would probably make that a bigger couch. So, I mean, that's not even really the condo. That's just the furniture. Make that a bigger couch and make it a height of bed so that you could squeeze up to six people in here if you needed. I think that would increase your rental. The one thing I would really change is I would actually paint this white this maple uh, banister and stuff here. Get in there and paint that white and I think it would just sort of uh, freshen up the whole thing. Um, other than that, I think you're ready to go. This is a great unit. I got Jennifer's contact information or the link to Jennifer's website that has all the information on this unit down in the description below. Click on that, Jennifer will take great care of you. I hope you like this video. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.